Hello my dear children of class 11 science uh, today again I welcome you all through this mode of teaching that we are, are doing in class 11 that is YouTube mode and today we start uh, the new chapter under unit number 10 okay and we will do this chapter as the last chapter uh, for class 11 okay and it's a very short chapter under unit number 10 oscillation and wave and the chapter name is vibration of vibrations okay this is vibrations of stressed string vibration of stress string now to study in detail about this vibration of stress string we again apply the concept of this standing wave or stationary wave see we saw that standing wave or stationary wave can be applied in the vibration of air column in organ pipe both or open and closed organ pipe okay so the, this standing wave can also be produced in the vibration of stress string and when the string stress string vibrate it acquires certain frequency so we start with this chapter with the frequency of sound note in a stressed string okay now for that we take a wire or we take a string okay which is clamped to a rigid support okay so we just take a wire okay of certain length okay and we just take a wire or string and clamp to both the support rigid support so these are rigid support and this is also what support rigid supports and this is simply a what wire or we also use the word string and we can make this string to vibrate with different frequency but to make the <coughs> string to vibrate with different frequency we need, to, we need to plug the string at different end of the length and children we take this wire or string with uniform diameter that means of same thickness and is perfectly flexible so that it can have a vibration okay that is which has no rigidity which has no rigidity okay so in practice a thin wire a very thin wire like a string okay fulfill this requirement approximately okay that means we are taking the consideration the string must be thin and must be uniform in diameter and is perfectly flexible so that it can able to vibrate okay and when it vibrate it produce a sound of different frequencies but sound of different frequency can be produces by plucking the string at different length now in the last chapter you studied that the vibration of air column which produces musical sound especially in organ pipe like flute whistle bugle okay clarinet and all so these are all the organ pipes okay now in addition to this okay there are other musical instrument and this instrument are called string instrument and you know string instrument like uh, sarangi violin guitar sitar these are all the string instrument okay in which musical sound can also be produced by the vibration of this stress string vibration of this stress string but as i said to produce the sound of different frequency it depends upon where do you plug the string where to plug the string now if you look at the diagram we have taken a wire or string okay clamped to a rigid support both and okay and we plug the string say at the middle so we plug the string at the what middle so if i make the string to plug at the middle okay so we can do this way also the same string if i plug at the middle then it vibrate this way the vibration of string takes place this way and this vibration which occurs are usually called transverse progressive wave okay which means when the string which are clamped at both ends of the rigid support is plugged at the middle okay plugged at the middle so that transverse progressive wave travel from each end to the wire each end of the wire but this transverse uh, sorry a uh, progressive wave can be observed in the form of standing wave because one of the wave will be incident wave which travel in one direction and that will get reflected from the rigid support and travel in the form of reflected wave but you know that reflected wave and incident wave they are always in opposite direction and they superimpose to form a wave called transfer uh, stationary wave what wave stationary wave but what type of stationary wave as i said transfer stationary wave okay now that means this string the vibration string which takes place is due to the vibration of uh, due to the what transfer stationary wave okay in the wire in the string but you know that the end of the wire or string are clamped to the rigid support and when it clamped to the rigid support definitely there is a node which is formed at one end and there is also a node formed at one end because at the node the particle have no displacement whereas there will be a maximum displacement particle takes place at the middle and there will be a what node anti node formed at the middle so note, anti-note and note will form uh, and the string when you plug the string at the middle 
okay and children let me just tell you one important part in the string okay every string which is connected to the rigid support is provided by certain tension tension is a force exerted in the what string and i consider that tension is t t is the tension in the what in the wire or we also call it string okay now every string has a mass and this mass depend upon the length okay because more length we take more the mass that's why every string is provided by a mass and this mass is called mass per unit length so i write down let mu okay let me use the word symbol mu as uh, the symbol of what mass per unit length length of the what string now mass per unit length can even expressed by symbol m also m can also be used but we can use mu so this one symbol we are using is called mu so with this we can now express the speed of the transverse wave now i write down the speed the speed of the wave is given by b and this b is equals to square root of t by nu we can write this way also square root of tension by mass per unit length or you can even write this way also square root of tension by m see i am telling you we can write the symbol of mass per unit length as mu also or m so any symbol can be used where t is the tension uh, in the wire or the string and small m or u, mu is the mass per unit length of the string or wire now with this speed we can write the frequency of vibration of the string okay but to calculate the frequency of vibration of string we first need to calculate the wavelength the wavelength of this wave okay wavelength of this wave but for that we just look at this diagram again there are two node which is formed at the two end of the rigid support of the string okay so that means you know the distance between the two node is given by lambda by 2 lambda by 2 and i take that distance between the two end and the string is also equals to length of the string every string is provided by the length so i write on l the length of the string is equals to lambda by what 2 because the length of the string out here is equals to the distance between two nodes and distance between two nodes is always lambda by 2 so where lam wavelength is the lamb where lambda is the wavelength where lambda is the wavelength the wavelength of a what wave okay so which means if i cross multiply i write on lambda equals to 2l so if this is the wavelength now we can measure the frequency or vibration of the string and this frequency of vibration means i write on therefore the frequency of vibration and this frequency of <coughs> vibration can be expressed by any of the symbol you can use n or you can use nu or you can use f okay you can use any of the symbols you children you can use any of the symbol but let me use nu because in the last chapter also we had used this symbol as the frequency of the vibration and frequency means what speed by wavelength so this is nu and this is b so speed equals to frequency equals speed by wavelength so what is uh, what is the speed uh, under this tension and this is square root of t by nu over divided by what lambda which means n equals to uh, 1 by now lambda means how much i write on 2l square root of what t by what nu or you can also write nu so i be i be use n so there is no confusion you always you can use the symbol of frequency as n or you can use the frequency of nu so frequency of vibration which is symbolized by nu or n or f also is called f is given by 1 by 2l square root of t by nu or you can write by m so this is the frequency of the sound note emitted in the string now from this equation it is seen that the frequency of sound emitted from the stress string can be changed we can change this frequency by two ways you know what are the way one is by changing the length of the string yes if the length of the string changes the frequency also changes okay or by changing the tension in the string we can also change uh, the what frequency by ten changing the tension of the string that's why you know in a stress string when you put more tension more frequency that string will vibrate with more frequency that's why in sitar or in violin the frequency of the note are always adjusted by either tightening in the string or by loosening or the wire or the string okay now in case of tabla tension in the membrane is changed by pulling the what string and the membrane emits a desired sound 
But as far as the string instrument is concerned, the frequency of the string instrument can be changed by changing the length of the string, even by changing the tension acting on the string. So children, uh, to measure the frequency of the sound of any note, that is the frequency of sound of any note in a stress string is measured by this relation. Nu or N or F also you can write because 1 by 2L square root of T by Nu or you can write 3 by M also, no problem. You can use any of the symbol. Okay. Now in the next YouTube video you will learn about the laws of vibration of stress string.